Imagine a country where foreign aid is no longer needed, where local talent builds the nation from the ground up. This isn't a dream, it's becoming reality in Burkina Faso. President Traore's new construction company is more than just bricks and mortar. It's a blueprint for African independence and prosperity. Watch as we uncover how this ambitious project could transform not just Burkina Faso, but the entire continent. Burkina Faso's infrastructure faces significant challenges. The country's roads, buildings, and public facilities are in dire need of improvement. Many roads remain unpaved, making travel difficult and hindering economic growth. Essential services like water and electricity are unreliable in many areas, especially outside major cities. For years, Burkina Faso has relied heavily on foreign contractors for major construction projects. This dependence has slowed down development and limited opportunities for local workers and engineers. Foreign companies often bring in their own workforce, leaving Burkinabe professionals on the sidelines. This practice has stunted the growth of local expertise and prevented the transfer of valuable skills and knowledge. Local workers and engineers face numerous obstacles when trying to contribute to their country's development. They often lack access to modern equipment and training opportunities. Many talented individuals end up leaving the country in search of better prospects, contributing to a brain drain that further hampers progress. Several important projects in Burkina Faso have faced setbacks due to foreign involvement. For example, the construction of a major highway connecting Ouagadougou to neighboring Ghana was delayed for years. The foreign company in charge of the project faced financial difficulties, leading to work stoppages and unfinished sections of road. The economic impact of outsourcing major construction projects is significant. When foreign companies are awarded contracts, a large portion of the money leaves the country. This prevents the growth of local businesses and reduces job opportunities for Burkina Faso citizens. The cycle of dependence on foreign aid and expertise continues, making it difficult for Burkina Faso to achieve economic self-sufficiency. President Ibrahim Traore has recognized these challenges and proposed a bold vision for change. He believes that Burkina Faso has the potential to build its own future using local talent and resources. Traore's plan aims to break the cycle of dependence and create opportunities for Burkina Faso citizens to take charge of their country's development. At the heart of Traore's vision is a new state-owned construction company. This company will focus on developing local expertise in civil engineering and construction. By investing in education and training, the initiative aims to create a skilled workforce capable of handling major infrastructure projects. The company will prioritize the use of local materials and labor, keeping more money within the country and stimulating economic growth. The announcement of this new initiative has generated excitement and hope among Burkina Faso citizens. Many see it as a chance to take control of their country's future and create lasting change. As we explore the details of President Traore's plan, it becomes clear that this is more than just a construction company. It's a pathway to self-reliance and national pride for Burkina Faso. While hope fills the air in Burkina Faso, a fleet of massive construction equipment rolls into Ouagadougou. This isn't just about building roads and bridges, it's about constructing a new future. But can local talent truly compete with foreign expertise? President Troy's announcement in Ouagadougou has set the stage for a major shift in Burkina Faso's approach to infrastructure development. The focus is now on civil engineering and nurturing local talent. This new strategy aims to create a workforce capable of handling complex construction projects without relying on foreign contractors. October 2024 marks a significant milestone for this initiative. The arrival of advanced construction equipment including powerful bulldozers, towering excavators, and impressive graders symbolizes a big step towards local empowerment. This machinery will not only speed up project completion but also improve safety standards on construction sites. Workers can now focus on delivering high-quality results efficiently. The enthusiasm among Burkina Faso citizens is evident. Many view this initiative as a call to action, eager to participate in building their nation's future. This widespread support is crucial for the success of the program, as it encourages more people to pursue careers in construction and engineering. The potential impact on job creation and skill development is substantial. By investing in local talent, Burkina Faso is laying the foundation for long-term economic growth. As more citizens gain expertise in construction and related fields, the country becomes less dependent on foreign aid and expertise. This approach differs from previous efforts in several ways. Instead of relying on short-term solutions or foreign assistance, the focus is on building sustainable local capacity. The state-owned construction company will serve as a training ground for Burkina Bay workers, allowing them to gain hands-on experience with modern equipment and techniques. 
Experts draw parallels between this initiative and Rwanda's successful investment in local talent and infrastructure. Rwanda's approach has led to significant economic growth, suggesting that Burkina Faso could experience similar positive outcomes. However, challenges remain, including the need for ongoing training and adapting to new technologies. As the first projects get underway, all eyes will be on Burkina Faso. The success of these initial endeavors will be crucial in demonstrating the viability of this bold vision. From road construction to building new schools and hospitals, each project will serve as a testament to the country's growing capabilities. The coming months will reveal how quickly Burkina Faso can transform its construction industry. As local workers gain experience and confidence, the nation moves closer to its goal of self-reliance. The world watches with interest as this West African nation embarks on a journey to reshape its future, one building at a time. As construction equipment rolls into Ouagadougou, another revolution is taking shape in Burkina Faso's classrooms. President Traoré's vision extends beyond building roads and bridges. It aims to construct a new generation of skilled professionals. The transformation of the Polytechnic School of Ouagadougou into a full-fledged university stands at the heart of this educational reform. This ambitious plan addresses a critical issue in Burkina Faso, the shortage of skilled engineers. By expanding the Polytechnic School, the country aims to significantly increase the number of local engineers and technical experts. This move is expected to create more opportunities for young people to enter engineering and technology fields, directly supporting the nation's infrastructure development goals. Education plays a crucial role in achieving self-reliance. By investing in local talent, Burkina Faso is laying the foundation for sustainable growth and reducing its dependence on foreign expertise. The reformed education system will equip students with the knowledge and skills needed to tackle complex infrastructure projects, from design to implementation. Improved education can have a substantial impact on the economy. As more skilled professionals enter the workforce, they contribute to increased productivity and innovation. This can lead to the creation of new industries and job opportunities, stimulating economic growth. Additionally, a well-educated workforce is more attractive to foreign investors, potentially bringing in more capital and technology to the country. However, implementing these educational changes comes with challenges. Adequate funding is necessary to upgrade facilities, acquire modern equipment, and attract qualified educators. The transition of the Polytechnic School into a university requires careful planning and execution to ensure the quality of education meets international standards. There is also the challenge of aligning the curriculum with the rapidly evolving needs of the construction and engineering sectors. Looking ahead, projections suggest a significant shift in Burkina Faso's workforce composition. As more local engineers and technicians graduate from the reformed educational institutions, the reliance on foreign experts is expected to decrease. This change will not only create more job opportunities for Burkina-based citizens, but also contribute to the country's goal of self-reliance in infrastructure development. The education initiatives are closely tied to the broader goal of infrastructure development. By producing a steady stream of skilled professionals, Burkina Faso aims to create a sustainable model for growth. These locally trained experts will be better equipped to understand and address the unique challenges faced by their country, leading to more efficient and effective infrastructure projects. The success of this educational transformation could have far-reaching implications. Other African nations may look to Burkina Faso as a model for developing local talent and reducing dependence on foreign aid. As the country moves forward with its ambitious plans, the world watches to see how education can become a catalyst for national development and economic independence. While education lays the foundation, it's the economy that will truly test Burkina Faso's vision. The country's decision to launch a state-owned construction company isn't just about building roads. It's about paving a new path for African economic sovereignty. But can this audacious plan withstand the pressures of global economics? Keeping construction projects local has significant benefits for Burkina Faso's economy. When money stays within the country, it creates a ripple effect of economic growth. Local businesses thrive, job opportunities increase, and the overall standard of living improves. Estimates suggest that this initiative could create thousands of new jobs in construction and related industries over the next few years. The potential reduction in reliance on foreign aid is a key aspect of this economic transformation. As Burkina Faso develops its own capacity to handle large-scale projects, the need for external financial support may decrease. This shift towards self-reliance could lead to greater economic independence and stability in the long run. Burkina Faso's approach draws comparisons to Rwanda's successful economic transformation. 
After years of conflict, Rwanda invested heavily in local talent and infrastructure development. This strategy led to rapid growth and development, positioning Rwanda as one of Africa's fastest growing economies. Burkina Faso hopes to replicate this success, tailoring the approach to its own unique circumstances. However, the path to economic transformation is not without challenges. The transition to local construction may face hurdles, including the need for adequate training and resources for local workers. Ensuring that the workforce can meet the demands of large-scale projects effectively will be crucial for the success of this initiative. The impact of Burkina Faso's new approach could extend beyond its borders. Other African nations are likely watching closely, considering whether similar strategies could work in their own countries. If successful, this model of local empowerment and infrastructure development could inspire a new wave of economic growth across the continent. International partners and aid organizations are reacting to Burkina Faso's initiative with a mix of interest and caution. While some see it as a positive step towards self-reliance, others express skepticism about the feasibility and sustainability of this approach. The coming years will be critical in demonstrating the viability of Burkina Faso's new economic model. You know, experts predict that if successful, this initiative could lead to significant long-term economic benefits for Burkina Faso. Increased local expertise, improved infrastructure, and reduced dependence on foreign aid could create a more robust and diversified economy. However, they also caution that success will depend on effective implementation, continued investment in education and training, and the ability to adapt to changing economic conditions. As Burkina Faso moves forward with its ambitious plans, the world watches with keen interest. The success or failure of this initiative could have far-reaching implications for economic development strategies across Africa and beyond. Burkina Faso's new construction initiative marks a bold step towards self-reliance and economic independence. By investing in local talent and infrastructure, the country aims to transform its future. This approach could redefine how African nations tackle development challenges, moving away from foreign aid dependence. The success of this project could inspire similar initiatives across Africa. As more countries invest in their own people and resources, the continent may see a new era of growth and prosperity. However, challenges remain. Burkina Faso must navigate complex economic realities and ensure sustainable implementation of its plans. The coming years will be crucial in determining the success of this ambitious vision. If Burkina Faso succeeds, it could pave the way for a new model of African development, one where nations build their own futures brick by brick, road by road, with their own hands and ingenuity.